Hello and welcome back to Astroneer with me, Barden. So since last episode, um, I've done a few things around our base. First of all, I got the fuel condenser here up and running. So let's start a new one there. Um, I also got made us some more storage to put our copper on. And obviously I used some of the copper to make the fuel condenser as well. Um, I traded some more of our copper to get some um, aluminium and also some compounds. So the compound I used to make the extra storage. So we've got a couple of extra storage there. And we've also got, um, actually I traded it for laterite, which is what we get aluminium for from. So I smelted the laterite here to make this aluminium. So then this um, aluminium we're going to use to get ourselves a new truck. So let's do that. Okay, and that means then that um, with our truck here, let's uh, disconnect. We're gonna have um, more capacity for bringing back uh, research, which is nice. Now we need to try to get around here. There we go. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's a nice start. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the moon hasn't really been, being on the moon hasn't really been a help. Oh my God, look at this, we're leaving at level. Now, that was some trick there, you have to admit. Oh, and now we're stuck in the terrain, let's just, um, see we can jump our way out no okay it just popped us up that's nice yeah so um, driving on the moon is going to be fun to say the least yeah <laughs> hopefully this time it can flip right okay uh, it's still sitting a bit awkward but um, so I think going maybe going full speed is not the thing to do here on the moon so instead let's get ourselves about there and jump out next let's uh, connect these guys up okay there we go let's jump back in and now let's take it nice and slow okay and then let's just head off in this direction now with um, two things it should mean that um, we're not as bouncy as we were but we still have to be um, careful and just feather the, the throttle now uh, there's another hole we need to avoid okay so let's go around it and now here's the first thing that we need to get to but obviously uh, this stuff popping in the way is not ideal let's get over to the research okay and let's avoid all the spiky spikiness So the moon overall is a pretty spiky place when you think that um, it's got this stuff here on the surface and then we got the um, death spikes in the caves as well. We've also got some um, malachite there which we're going to mine once we've got all of this stuff. So there's more here. So I'm going to grab this one and then for the next ones um, I'll drive the truck closer. Okay, we definitely don't want to put it there. There's fine. Okay, good. Now let's get our tool out. Oh, come on.
probably shouldn't have brought all the resin with me uh, but let's get as much as this as we can before we start to suffocate or run out of power as the case may be okay oxygen is looking okay Let's get back for some more power and some more oxygen. And certainly the moon feels very peaceful and relaxing. Um, it's not as hectic. Apart from the um, when your vehicle goes um, you know somersaulting up in the air um, generally it's not as hectic here on the moon as it was on our starter planet oh no don't go too far there is fine okay so then let's try and get that one and that one please okay that's good how about you do you want to come with us need to back up a bit so we can get it yeah there we go and then let's check if there's anything else there we go there's another one and then there's one right here as well okay we've almost got ah oh, there's another one there okay okay well we'll come back for that one because we don't want to suffocate Okay, there we go and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive the truck around uh, to that side so let's do that now and that will allow me to fill the hole in a lot easier okay uh, but I don't want to fill the hole with my truck so I need to be a bit more careful than I normally am okay and then let's jump out still haven't got the stack that we want so hopefully there's one more piece somewhere it's not looking good let's check the edges just in case this side because there were ones near the surface here and then the final throw of the dice along here okay I think um, we tapped this one out so let's start filling it back in Now one thing I need uh, that's just occurred to me is that we haven't put anything um, on our vehicle for it to regenerate its power. So that might be a problem. But we should have enough power to get ourselves um, back to base. And also to um, head over and collect the other the other samples but uh, let's try and get this job done now okay I'm glad that um, I'm getting better at using this smoothing tool because it was a real really frustrating previously but uh, now at least we can do a, de a decent enough job wouldn't say a perfect job but a decent enough job there we go so that uh, looks pretty okay and then we're gonna jump in and then we're gonna so we we can't do any more uh, drilling 
using the power from uh, the base because that will cause problems. So what we're going to do is jump out, put that away so we're not tempted to use it, um, and then start grabbing. We just grab the closest ones uh, with no preference for color. You can go on the front. Come on. You want to go on the front, don't you? No? Okay. In that case then, I guess you're going on the back. Okay, now let's grab this one. Maybe it wants to go on the front. Yes, it does. Nice. Okay. And then we need one more. So you're it, I guess. Okay, let's grab you. Get back to the vehicle. Yeah, it's going to be touch and go. Um, getting back to base with the power we have left, but um, we should be okay. Okay, so now let's get ourselves turned around. Okay. So just over, don't go too fast up the hill. Or we're going to be flying again. Uh, am I going the right way? Let's do it. I always manage to get myself lost. Yes, I am. That's where we got the original ones. And there's our home over there. Okay. But there are more research um, samples in that direction. Now, hopefully we haven't lost any. Yeah. Okay. Still um, not completely used to the whole um, drive the way the camera is pointing, not the way your vehicle is pointing. And now we seem to have snagged ourselves on something. Um, now we seem to be... Oh, we ran out of power, that's why. Okay, so let's run home. Um, actually, let's grab you and run you home. And then we'll just swap this for um, our large um, solar panel. Then when we bring these guys back, we can uh, put the solar panel back on the base and then build another one for the vehicle. solar panel you can come with us even though it's night time um, by the time we actually get back to the vehicle it's probably going to be uh, daytime again I think I need to go around this way okay. and then up okay and don't fall in the big hole that you made that I still need to fill in and before um, we leave the moon that's one thing I'll have to do is fill in that hole I don't want someone else coming to the hole uh, coming to the moon and thinking hang on this doesn't look like a crater who made this you know, we want to be good custodians of the moon until someone else comes along and now uh, we can sit and wait for the Sun so Please, Mr. Sun, come and help us out. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to pour myself some uh, delicious tea. Well, I say delicious. It's the closest thing I can get at the moment to uh, tea here in Japan. So if I tell myself it's delicious, maybe it will be. So we should have power to move now, as yes, we do. And we're still, um, oh my God. Our power is still going up. Um, so is the trailer on the back, unfortunately. 
even though I'm trying to be careful. Oh no, it's gonna slip us off the edge. Ah, goodbye. Tell my family I love them. Slow motion. Death. No, no death. Good. But we do have that annoying. Let's flip you and bring the other one down on our head and then flip the other one. Okay, that's as close as she's gonna get, I think. And then, luckily, it helped us by uh, removing one of the research samples. And uh, I'm sure some people will be annoyed by the fact that this thing is floating up in the air. Uh, for me, it just looks a bit funny, but I'm gonna leave it there. And let's start the fuel condenser as well. So there's some more aluminium. So if we wanted to, um, to make our truck even more strange we could do it now let's um, start picking off more of these samples okay you can go there you can go there you're gonna go there okay yeah you guys fight amongst yourselves, that's fine with me. Just as long as you give us uh, something nice. Now let's do this red one. Almost certainly gonna be resources. Yep, it's um, lithium, so that's nice. We can get a new battery. Uh, let's stick it over there. Let's grab, oh come back there we go okay now there must be a sliver that we just can't see there um, oh we should really grab this guy back and put him over there and then while I'm at it I'm gonna see just remind myself what we need for the for the large solar panel okay we're gonna need compound okay so let's send let's grab some copper and we can send that off for some compound so that's two compound let's no let's keep the titanium for now let's um, send the coal off you go this guy's ready again so let's get this going hey more copper one thing we're not lacking for on the moon ah there's some aluminium there as well though so that's nice let's get you going Oh, that one look trying to hide over there he was you're not gonna um, do that to us let's get the resin off one thing um, research does is it makes your base look so fairly untidy uh, here comes our compound so let's grab that okay backpack full Oh yeah, we've got all of the um, got all the stuff we need to smelt, don't we? Uh, let's grab you out of there, more aluminium, and let's put a new guy on, Mr. Red. You can go next. Okay, while well, that's doing, let's head over to our smelter. Have to say the um, the low gravity um, jumping feels very satisfying in this game. It's one thing that they've got spot on, I think. Then the more copper can go there. You can go there ready for when the sun comes back up. Okay, more hydrogen, okay. Let's put that there. 
now let's make a way over here and put down one two compound and get that going then let's plug our hydrazine let's put it here so we've got um, some more compound let's take a couple of those then let's put you on there you can go on as well and then one more let's start it again and then get one more okay and then this compound can come over here in this direction let's grab you you're the one for the vehicle let's put you on there once you get in range no we don't want the solar panel on the front actually let's will it actually work if it's on the front or work efficiently let's just test it out and see I have a feeling that it probably won't well it's not opening and the others are opening so I think it needs to go there yeah it certainly makes sense um, now let's get one of these hopeful ones on as I've been calling them let's get them started okay some more aluminium okay um, aluminium can go there and then how about this guy really want some technology but we got some coal okay coal was always the um, when my when I was younger coal was always the present uh, you know in Ireland that parents would tell um, kids that if you didn't behave you're gonna get um, coal from Santa and it was enough uh, to make you behave at least close to Christmas uh, it didn't work any time other than uh, December really Let's get um, another solar panel and plunk it on there. Okay, and then, we, whoa, we got another research. Okay, so this is gonna be another resource, but um, let's open it for the end of our episode here. Yep, more coal. More sad children, unfortunately. But that does bring us to the end of this particular episode. So if you have enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and posting a comment. And I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye.